Now let's fast forward to Tuesday when a delegation of House members will head to the Border Patrol station where agents took that young girl and her father. And one of those attending is Congressman Mark Vesey of Texas. He's joining us now. Congressman is also one of the several Democrats who wrote a letter to the Department of Homeland Security and Border Patrol leadership demanding answers. Before I, I get to you, I want to read part of what you asked then. You write, her death raises significant questions about the leadership at Department of Homeland Security, DHS, and CBP's ability to appropriately respond to the humanitarian crisis happening at our southern borders and the agency's ability to prevent such tragedies from happening in the future. Congressman, thanks so much for spending part of your evening with us. Based on what we are now learning, including the father saying he has no complaints with how his daughter's care was handled, has your perspective on this situation changed? No, my perspective on the situation hasn't changed at all. And the, the complaint that I have is just the, the lack of transparency uh, from the Trump administration on this issue of immigration. Uh, uh, Anna, and I talked to some of your CNN people several months ago when I headed to the border with Senator Kirsten uh, Gillibrand to look at uh, conditions of uh, people that were be of refugees that were being detained on the border uh, near McAllen, uh, near San Antonio at, at, at shelters and what have you. And, and the secrecy, the lack of transparency, uh, members of Congress not being able to ask uh, people that have been detained, refugees that have been detained questions, just basic questions about, about uh, what type of care they're receiving at various facilities. Uh, there's the, the shroud of, of secrecy uh, regarding immigration from this administration is just very troubling. And the fact that uh, the person that was the head of customs came to testify before Congress and didn't even mention that there was a death of a seven-year-old uh, raises a whole nother specter of questions uh, that need to be answered. And so uh, I want to find, I, I think there needs to be an investigation. Uh, the, the inspector general uh, needs to, to uh, issue uh, findings quickly. Uh, and we need to know exactly what happened to this uh, uh, young woman, uh, this young girl, uh, because it's a tragedy that a seven-year-old uh, right. that was full of life and joy uh, would, would lose their life like this. It's awful. But, but we don't know why she lost her life, exactly what the cause was, as we just heard in Ed's report. And I hear what you're saying. We're also seeing the tweets from potential presidential candidates, Democrats. You are among those heading to the border to bring more attention to the situation. But again, in light of what the father is saying, essentially praising Border Patrol, are Democrats at risk of politicizing this girl's death? No, not trying to politicize the death at all. We just want answers. Uh, and again, there have been uh, uh, troubling um, uh, instances before uh, the death of this uh, seven-year-old girl, and we need to know answers. Uh, there needs to be more transparency on immigration policy and how in immigration policy is administered from this administration uh, moving forward. There's just been so much secrecy. Uh, again, uh, this young woman, this young girl died and he was in Washington, D.C., and didn't bother to let members of Congress know when he was there testifying that there had been a death. I mean, that's a big problem. Members of Congress should have been notified 24 hours after the seven-year-old's death, uh, and that did not happen. Those are the type of answers uh, that we need. It's not politi pol politicizing at all to want to know uh, why a seven-year-old girl died. Fair enough. I want you to listen to what the administration is saying. It's a sad time, but it's also senseless. It's, it's a needless death, and it's 100 percent preventable. If we could just come together and pass some common sense uh, laws to uh, disincentivize people from coming up from the border and, and encourage them to do it the right way, the legal way, uh, then those types of uh, deaths, those types of uh, assaults, those types of rapes, the child smuggling, the human trafficking, that would all come to an end, and we hope Democrats join the president get and get something to do. Congressman, what's your response to that? Uh, Anna, let me say a couple of things. The first is that Stephen Miller, who has made very provocative comments when it pertains to immigration, he needs to go. If the president wants to show the country that he's serious, uh, that there's empathy on the death of the seven-year-old girl and the way that migrants have been treated in the past, uh, Stephen Miller will go. Uh, he that is wasn't Stephen Miller, of course. That was I know, I know that, I know that wasn't part of the press yeah, secretary I know. team. I know that wasn't Stephen Miller, but I'm saying that, that Stephen Miller needs to go. He's For him to be leading immigration in the White House, for him to be the head person is just, is just bad. The second thing that I will tell you is that there have been uh, measures that have been put in place to help 
migrants that are trying to lawfully uh, immigrate to the United States, and the administration have cut so many of those programs, uh, programs that are specifically aimed and tailored uh, for Central America. There have been aid and humanitarian assistance programs where people can apply for asylum within those countries without trying to make a trek here to the United States, and the administration has cut those programs. They are actually cutting programs that would, that, that would reduce the number of migrants trying to make their way uh, to, uh, uh, to seek status here in the United States, and the administration mm -hmm. has ended those programs. And the second thing that I will tell you is that uh, since I have been uh, in the U.S. House of Representatives since 2013, there was always a lack of uh, Republican leadership in the House to move something forward. As you know, comprehensive immigration reform was passed in 2013 on the Senate side. Nothing right. ever happened on the House because right. they politicized this thing. And there would have been security measures in there. There would have been uh, other measures in place that would have allowed the lawful uh, uh, immigration of migrants that were trying to come to the let United me just States. stop you for a second though uh, and, because and I know I feel happened. like you're pointing the fingers backwards and let me remind everybody though when when there was a Democratic president he became the deporter in chief and at this point it's easy to point fingers it's easy to say what has been done wrong Democrats are going to be taking over the house now come January what are you going to do on this issue of immigration besides pushing back on the border wall Oh, immigration is going to be one of our top legislative priorities, uh, and I hope uh, that Mitch McConnell and Chuck Grassley uh, will also see uh, that this is a top priority for, uh, for the Senate as well, so we can get something to the president's desk. And again, uh, the president needs to put uh, people in place, people uh, unlike Stephen Miller, uh, in place that are going to negotiate with the House and with the Senate on something that we can get passed and finally uh, have legislation that the American public has been demanding for a long time now. Congressman Mark Vesey, appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Anna.